Yay, Sutherland! Inquisitor, it was amazing. <clears throat> Sorry, slow down. Your quartermaster outfitted me, and I got trained to hunt the bandits near my home, in your name. I hired Voth here. Don't tell anyone, he's a, a mage. A good one, though. Thank you for trusting me, your worship. He's I'll Dalish. Back, I swear. I wonder if he's like an agent of Fenrir or something. That would be interesting. Good work. Keep with the training. We'll need every hand. Yes. Yes, your worship. We'll do just that. Won't we, Voth? He doesn't speak, but he's thankful too. <laughs> I love Sutherland. He's the cutest thing. Sarah. Hey you. I have an inquisitor favor to ask. Just a little thing, really. Oh my I'll gosh. We haven't done Marshall yet? Beat you, right? All right. Jump right in. It's a red Jenny thing. They're getting little people. Just walk through. Just walk through. Easy, right? Okay. All right, Sarah. I'll have someone look into it. It's fun, right? Not everything has to be torn skies and ancient assholes. Every little thing makes a difference somewhere. Yes, it does. Sometimes for good and sometimes for not good. Would that I could. Ah! Oh no! Oh my. Krem, you're glitching. These stairs don't have... I don't think you're supposed to be in here, guy. You should probably leave. I keep waiting for that one guy to show up, the, like, riddle guy. I think I could look for Cole. Is he talking to Solus? What are you doing? Oh, we're doing this! Wow! Listening. We... Really? Eyes rough, jangling armor hurts my ears, back aching, fingers too clumsy for knots. Wind cool, I can't tell Louise's pond. Lips scalded as I sip. Warmth blossoms. First kiss in the barn. What was his name? Tin jangle as the blood spills. Pierre's wrapped body on the wagon to the chantry. Five more minutes. My fault. Can you listen to anyone's mind like you did hers? No, they have to need me. Pain, fear, sadness, guilt, anger, hurt. Things I can fix. Can you do something for her? Yes. <laughs> it's okay. Nothing you did mattered. What? Who are you? They lie there, and sometimes they die, just like Pierre. You can't save them. I don't... I don't know who you are. Wait. That didn't work. Let me try again. You'll forget me in a minute. What are you going to do? Make her forget me. Then do it again, the right way. Hmm. You can't save all of them. What? Like Pierre getting sick after you snuck out to Aunt Eloise's pond. You want it to be your fault. So there's a reason, and it's not so frightening. But there is no reason. Pierre just got sick. The soldier was never going to live. It wasn't your fault. Better.
So you walk into their lives, make them feel better, and they just forget you. Yes. It's better to help and then be gone. If I stay, it can be frightening. For you or for them. Ah. Yes. Ah. <laughs> it's not how a person would do it. But it helped. That's what matters. I don't know if I've ever done that one where you say that. And you have Cole say yes. Maybe I have, but... Interesting. And we have Cassandra. Where's Cassandra? I need to go talk to Cassandra. I always forget Cassandra because she's just off in this corner now. I mean, I understand she doesn't like, you know, necessarily the crowd or anything, oh, but before she was like with soldiers and she was coming into the war the table. Stop the bleeding, and they prevent wounds from getting infected. Gather as many as you can. The strangest thing, though. I can't right, we should actually I probably that. go finish talking I to Cole. A young man. You're certain. I thought I'd done all those on this one. Of she who stands behind the throne. And perhaps casts a shadow across it. Nobility, you're not proper. Make her hope it's not me. Huh, I'm talking about Vivian. She knows they're going to kill her. Can only save what's important. Precious space to remember her smile. Can you explain how your mind works? Yes. What do you sense when you focus on me? You're too bright. Like counting birds against the sun. The mark makes you more, but past it, pulled. Blood that is not blood, a tiny trace of time. Lips struggling to shape language your parents lived. And past that, the weight of all on you. All the hopes you carry, fears you fight. You are theirs. It must be very hard. I hope I help. I think that could mean the Inquisition itself, but it also could mean the clan. Uh, because in Origins, if you play as a Dalish elf, your Haren says you are not your own. You do not belong. You belong to more than just yourself. And everybody in the clan carries the weight and the hopes and the fear, the weight of the hopes and fears of their people, you know? So it could mean the Inquisition or the clan. Walk me through the way you help someone. I start by listening. I hear hurt, feel it fretting. Some are intangible, terrible tangles that catch on a crack, fixed, festering, and the person makes a pearl of pain. I shake it loose. No pearl, no pain. They can hope, they can heal. Sometimes you say things that relate to other members of the Inquisition. They remember me. Their eyes stick, some more. They want me to be. Varric is quiet inside. He pulls me more to hear. Makes me a person. Calls me kid, a friend. Solus, bright and sad, observes and accepts. Spirit self, seeing the soul, Solus, but somehow sorrows. Hmm. I must us. be sad, feeling everyone's pain all the time. Why? Isn't it? No. I help. I find wounds and heal them. I salve, soothe, save. I see pain and make it better. How could I not be happy? He's just you such an angel. You know. <laughs> well, I don't think angel is not a good word, I don't think. He's just such a spirit of compassion. He's... Ah. It's good to spend time with you. Oh. The servants are having trouble remembering some odd events. Someone is leaving peeled plums on the... Spiders need to eat. And healers need something to treat infected wounds, like spider webs. Plums are already dead. <laughs> they don't mind helping. I'll talk to you later. Probably. Oh, Cole. I need to bring Cole. I want to bring Cole, Varric, and Solus out. That would be a fun group, I think. Okay, let's go. We. Oh, no, we got to talk to Cassandra. 
I think that was actually the only one I was missing was the plums one. Maybe. Planning troop movements now. I'm trying to imagine what it will look like when we're done. All of this once belonged to the Tevinta Imperium. Andraste changed that, as did the Blights. As for what will come next, I cannot guess the Maker's plan. You don't have any ideas of your own? I know I want a world where people trust the Chantry and that trust... What <laughs> was that? Talon's arms I just like stuck out! Tradition, ...but not fear change. I want to right past wrongs, but not avenge them. And I have no idea if my wanting these things makes any of them right. Even if they're not right, they're certainly admirable. Some would disagree. They would call it heresy. That didn't sound like the ravings of a heretic, Cassandra. Perhaps not. But it takes precious little effort to paint even an act of compassion as damaging. Yes. Cole could tell you that. Tell me. I need to romance you? Cassandra sometime. You make decisions that shake the world, yet always seem so assured. I wish I had your confidence. You guide me, ho ho ho. You almost sound like you admire me. I absolutely do. I may not always agree with your decisions, but how many could do what you have done? You were a prisoner, accused and reviled, yet you've emerged from every trial victorious. The Maker's grace does not make you immortal. You live or die by your own hand. That is worthy of admiration. Uh, I do what must be done. What other choice is there? The demands of the moment. Exactly. <laughs> when we first met, if someone told me I would be pleased to have you lead me, I would have throttled them. <laughs> but I am. The Maker chose well. Uh... I don't know if I deserve that. Who knows where I could lead us? We'll have to see, won't we? We still have a long road to travel, Inquisitor. Wherever it takes us, I'm glad you're here. <sighs> a little weirder for a dude to just be like leaning up against the window with her. People person? I'm a people person? Does that mean I became friend? Oh, that means I became like friends with like four of my inner circle? Oh, cool. Cool. Well, that's good. We're all caught up now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's make sure. Okay, hey, 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 hey. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew we had this one still. It's like sneaking up on her. Good book. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yes, because I suddenly went blind. <laughs> oh, that. Just report. From Commander Cullen. You're an excellent liar. <laughs> it's of no interest to you, I'm certain. <laughs> it's a book. Uh -huh. I can see that. <laughs> it's one of Varric's tales. Swords and Shields. The latest chapter. <laughs> the latest chapter? Meaning you've read them all? Not since this all began. We've been busy. She's read this one three times. <laughs> you! I told you to stop spying! You read it out loud to me. <laughs> I don't like the captain either. <laughs> I never did that. <laughs> it's literature. Smutty. Literature. I love that it's either Cole or Dorian, Whatever depending you do, on who you got Varric. first. Uh... <laughs> me? No. I would never. <laughs> They're terrible. And magnificent. And magnificent. And this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric is working on the next. He must be. Pretend you don't know this. Oh, Cassandra, I can't wait to romance you. I'm going to make... I actually, there's a human guy. I'm going to use the American voice because for some reason that voice 
I'm like, it sounds like he, like, every time he asks anybody a question, he's just, like, asking, he's like, do you want to have sex with me? <laughs> uh, my friend made a human with the American accent, and I was like, oh, my, like a human male, and I was like, oh, my gosh. My human has the American act. my human female has the American accent, even though I don't really like it. <laughs> I'm like, I don't sound like that. <laughs> but it's, it's growing on me, I like it. Um... No, okay, still gotta ask Cassandra. Hello again. So you're romantic? So that book you were reading. Uh, yes, what of it? So under that taciturn shell, <laughs> it's a true romantic... Heart. Taciturn shell! Why must it be an accusation? Romance I didn't is accuse, I just stated a fact. ...and frilly dresses. It is passion. It is being swept away by the pursuit of an ideal. What is not to like about that? Uh-huh. Don't get me wrong, I like this side of you. I don't swoon. No? I meant the passion. <laughs> oh. Well, that's not so bad then. Wait, where are Hello you going? Again. Do you have any advice for me? Tell that demon what does no, it call You it? just read it it stories. Spirits are not creatures to take at face value. Do you have any advice? Treat Dorian with caution. Oh? It's possible he could be what he seems. A Tevinta mage wishing to do better than his countrymen. What if he is not? At best, his presence makes the Inquisition appear to have questionable allies. I am romancing him! Another time, then. Don't, don't, talk, don't talk about Dorian like that. All right, time to go talk. I love the idea of just like immediately turning around. Oh no, I would never. And then turning around and being like, Beric. <laughs> Looking for someone to talk to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cassandra is waiting for the next issue of Swords and Shields. Just throw it at him. I must have heard that. <laughs> it sounded like you just said that Cassandra read my books. <laughs> She's a pretty big fan, in fact. Are we talking about the same Cassandra? Tall, grumpy seeker, like stabbing things? Wait, did you say the romance? Yeah. Oh, she'll be waiting for a while, then. I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. But it's based on Aveline! The, written. the last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink. Oh, I need it as a gift. Oh, could you do that? That would be interesting. Well, Cassandra seems to be hooked on it. And I honestly thought a hole in the sky was the weirdest thing that could happen. Yep. So, you want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial for Cassandra? Yep. <laughs> oh, that's such a terrible <laughs> I have to do it. On one condition, I get to be there when you give her the book. Yep. You've got a deal. I'll get to work then. You know, the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worse. It's not terrible. Now. It's just, it's terrible in like an awesome way. You know what I mean? Sometimes things, she's like, it's terrible and magnificent. It's like, yeah, that, that, that's a thing. That, that is definitely a thing. Cassandra! What have you done now? I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. I'm not a child, Varric. Do not suggest I'm without reason. Uh, a peace offer. He's like, ah, yeah. the next chapter of Swords and Shields. I hear you're a fan. Aveline! <laughs> this is your doing. No, another. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Do you really think I'd miss this? <laughs> well, if you're not interested, you're not interested. Still needs editing anyhow. Wait! Go oh, hey! <laughs> you're probably wondering what happens to the night captain after the last chapter. <gasps> Nothing should happen to her. This is she that when she was falsely accused. Well, it turns out the guardsman... Don't tell me! <laughs> <clears throat> This is the part where you thank the Inquisitor. I don't normally give sneak peeks, after all. Oh, Cassandra! I... thank you. 
No, thank you. Beric's the one you should be thanking. I am but a humble servant to my loyal readers. <laughs> I wonder if I have time to read the first part. But don't forget to tell all your friends, if you have any. <laughs> <sighs> Completely worth You see it. Talon's smile there? <laughs> We're all just like wandering off like, yep. <laughs> There she goes. Influence. All right. I hope. I'm hoping they're recording. It looks like everything's still working, except I'm walking off of stairs. Um, but eh. Uh, I want to go do the Inquisition perk point really quick. We should. Oh, Josephine. We have Josephine too. Josephine should be good. Dang it! Oh my gosh! Ah! Shoot! Uh oh. Whoa! We messed things up. Mister Liliana says the guests are on their way. The last inheritances are discovered. And taupe is not a spring color. Good. Tell her we've prepared their best state room. The inheritors will be contacted, and yes, it absolutely is. <laughs> okay, so we're back now. Um, I'm just going to add this on to the end of the other one, and hopefully it'll all work out. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Something about a runtime error. I don't know anything about computers. I just rest I did an update, restarted. Um, so hopefully everything... Hopefully everything's good and we don't explode this time. And what else did Lady Forsythia say? That she'd rather drown herself than help the Inquisition. Anything else? She said she'd have us flogged alive if we allied with her brother. Well, isn't flogged necessarily happen that when you're alive anyway? Good. Cheer up, Josie. We at least have our attention. You always do find the brighter side of things. Does she? That's good to know. What do I have? Like, I have like we a are in the midst of cementing an like, alliance with Lady weird. Parsithia of Nevada, Your Worship. It's become a somewhat delicate task. <laughs> She'll have us flogged. Yeah. <laughs> I believe she meant flayed. Okay, that's what it her is. Her ladyship tends to confuse metaphors. Okay. Excitable. I dissuaded her from sending soldiers when she learned we'd struck an accord with a brother she's feuding. What's that writing she has on Lady her desk? Lady simply employs a colorful manner of speech. Like, does the common tongue or whatever, does that look like, does it technically look like English or whatever language you're reading this in, you know? Or does it look different? I mean, Elvin's written with, like, Roman letters, just, you know, rearranged in different grammar and syntax and all that, but, um, is that, like, Antivan on her desk or something, or, so, I don't know, did the Alamari have a written language, or were they just straight up, uh, oral tradition? You're rather good-natured about threats of death and dismemberment. They are chiefly bluster, Inquisitor. Most of them. But I confess I do miss my staff from the Embassy in Antiva. It was always didn't useful I to discuss I swear we did this. Visitors. Maybe we did this and I, like, freaking didn't... I have time, if you'd like to review things with me. Right, because I was like, I holy crap, it looks like he's coming on to her. If it were imposing, I wouldn't have offered. Well, I admit, there are a few potential alliances. It Man, I might have to discuss. replay Talon and, like, make him romance Josephine and Cassandra. Right on the parlor floor. In front of everyone at the soiree. Who at does the soiree? Such a thing in front of their guests? The Duke of Kellington, apparently. And then there's calls lurking. Lurking. Titans are guests half to death. Lord Jenner still won't respond to I really want to get to know and everybody. Sarah, like, I'm getting to that point now. Because before I wasn't really interested in... Then there's Dorian. Cassandra or Josephina's romances or anything. And Not to mention. Cassandra, kind of, but... Oh, goodness. Have we been here an hour already? But, uh... I don't know. I'd like to see everybody... Like, everybody's... 
because you get to know sometimes you get to know more about them when you romance them for some reason actually that was soulless i feel like uh according to what i've kind of seen in like future dialogue options like just on clips and stuff in the internet that people have shared with me you actually kind of get to see him know him better as a person when you don't romance him but but I, I'm so biased, like, I'm so entrenched in that romance, you know, that, like, it's hard to see out of that sometimes. But, um, this was the first one I did. And so that's how I see him. But, I don't know, I'm gonna have to pay more attention when I romance him again and not just be, like, all giddy or whatever. But, uh, I don't know. And I do, I wish there was a way you could disagree with him without him disapproving like i wish there was just nothing like if you disagree with him it was just a conversation not worrying about approval or disapproval popping up in the corner you know like i feel like he's somebody who should be used to like having really good discussions between people of differing viewpoints and not but maybe maybe he used to be and nowadays he's just so used to being put down he just automatically disapproves of anybody who disagrees with him but it's definitely something to kind of be aware of and be like, uh, that's not such a good trait, you know, but I've been talking with someone in the comments about it and I'm, I was kind of trying to see, you know, like, well, you know, maybe it's like some, you know, maybe it is because he's so used to being put down and he's just not used to this kind of thing. But again, that's not really, it's not really a very good justification. So, I don't know, I see lots of posts, though, about, like, everybody, like, all of the characters, like, you know, personalities and traits and like kind of explain people's explaining why they think that certain people act certain ways and stuff so there's probably somebody out there who's more articulate than I am who is explains Solus's personality better but it's it's good though to not just be like oh he's perfect because he's not by any means anyway that's Solus not any anyway, that's something else entirely two and a half hours I think but no <laughs> one's counting <laughs> oh dear I didn't intend to go on for so long. You must think me quite the gossip. Just a bit long-winded. No one else here has your experience, Josephine. Or your stories. I'll try to curtail their length. You and Solus, because she likes Solus's stories. More troubled than I have in weeks. Whose flag is that? That's not our flag. And then I bring her up to my room to talk, right? I guess it's a pretty private area, though. Like, we wouldn't get interrupted, probably. Uh. Hmm. I haven't. I need to go buy glass, too. I haven't done that. What is. Oh, what is. That's Ferelden. I do like that. I don't know. I feel like I kind of need to get back to my Dalish roots, like. Or to my elven roots. I don't know. See, I, I find myself getting caught up in, like, calling the Dalish elves Dalish. I'm like, oh, I'm a Dalish. It's like, no, no, you're an elf. You know what I mean? And, like, but it, it, the games, like, this is, it's how, like, it, it's uh, it's how they're kind of done. And it, it's interesting that, like, it's just shortening it. I'm like, I'm, it says, like, I'm a Dalish elf. I just say, I'm a Dalish or you're a Dalish. But I'm like, no, I need to not do that. Like, I need to not do that. It's like, and it's, 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 it's trying to, diff but there is, there's a different culture, it's like trying to differentiate between city elves and Dalish elves, there's a different culture for sure, but they are the same people, and so, it's a bit, it's a bit troubling, it's, it's Where's quite troubling. Out? 